Queensland backyard bugs and birds. Wow, did you see the size of that? That's not big. This is big. If you saw my video on mosquitoes, then you would know their life cycle. Well, here's a mosquito with a difference. This is the elephant mosquito in the genus of Toxorynchites. There are nearly a hundred species of them. This may be the largest and it's found in Australia. But other species in the genus are found all over the world, mostly in the tropics. You can see just how big these behemoths get. Three or four times as big as the common mosquito. These things are massive. Its life cycle is much the same. Egg to larvae. The larvae grows very big. Look at the size compared to the common mosquito larvae. Then larvae to pupae. Once again, compare the size of the elephant mosquito pupae to its smaller cousin. And finally to adult. Most mosquito larvae filter bacteria and algae from water for their food but not these giants, also known as mosquito eaters or cannibal mosquitoes. They are predators on other mosquitoes and occasionally on each other. The mandibles are unusually stout with comb-like extensions used for grasping prey. The elephant mosquito is a lot larger than the common mosquito and is also one of the most colourful mosquitoes in Australia. Its body is covered with shiny metallic dark blue scales with patches of iridescent silvery white, purple and green scales ornamenting the sides of the thorax and the abdomen. They are stunning and beautiful. But don't worry, these giant day-flying mosquitoes don't need a blood meal to produce eggs, so they don't bite. Both adult males and females feed exclusively on sugary substances, primarily flower nectar, but also plant sap, honeydew, and juices from rotting fruit. The reason they are called elephant mosquitoes is due to their long trunk-like proboscis that curves downwards and is pointed at the tip to assist in sucking nectar from deep flowers. Since they don't bite, they also don't transmit any vector-borne disease. So big, beautiful and beneficial. These harmless mosquitoes should be regarded as an exception for anyone who believes that the only good mosquito is a dead mosquito. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.